20 years ago, Tywin killed our fathers, our women, our children. 20 years ago, he took everything that we hold dear. But do not fear, for I would take revenge and kill every single last Lannister that lives and will ever live. I will take their lands, their castles, and we will remove them from existence. Welcome to Crusader Kings 3 at Game of Thrones. Today, we're going to be playing as Lord Lyman here of the Borenlean of House Vickery, which of course can later revive House Rain. Uh, and that is our ultimate goal, of course. As for the game rules, everything is going to be on default. Let's turn off Iron Man mode, just in case we get any crashes. I will still be playing as if it is Iron Man mode, though, uh, of course. Uh, and as for story, historical events, but uncertain outcomes. I like that. I like that a lot. Right, let's apply the settings and jump straight in. And there we have it. Our journey begins once more in Crusader Kings 3, A Game of Thrones. Should we take a look at our character? We are playing as Lord Lymond. We are quite the evil guy. 16 intrigue, hey. <laughs> uh, Tywin, we're coming for you, my friend. As we got 9 diplomacy, we got 12 martial, we got 9 stewards, 16 intrigue. I'm liking that a lot. Uh, 9 learning, 14 prowess. Prowess, not so good, eh? Uh, we are vengeful. Lymond is slower to forget a slight. Or someone who does him wrong. It's very fitting. We are gluttonous. Lyman frowns at moderation. He wants it all. Oh, that's so fitting. Uh, but we are humble somehow. Uh, Lyman does not ask for much in life. We're probably going to be going against humble. And I think these make conflict and give us a lot of stress. So that should make things interesting. We are a flamboyant trickster. So we get plus four intrigue and 20% uh, monthly intrigue lifestyle experience. Lyman does receive an education in the art of intrigue. But still has a lot to learn before mistakes and blunders become exceptions rather than the norm. We are a knight. That's very nice. Uh, this character was knighted and has sworn before the eyes of gods and men to defend those who cannot defend themselves. Protect all women and children to obey their captains. Lead Lord King to fight bravely and do such other tasks as are laid upon them. However hard or humble or dangerous they may be. Uh, so we are a knight and we are a trained fighter. Lyman is a competent in the arts of the sword, mace and lance. Confident, offensively and on the retreat. He is not to be overlooked. So that gives us plus four prowess. Uh, and we're still only 14. We do have a wife. That's nice to start with a wife, although we probably could have used some alliances. Uh, I might actually start seducing her straight away. Oh, it's, it's not a very good chance. Okay, in that case, let us start swaying the wife. Hopefully she can like us a little bit more uh, and get us some children. And then we do have some children here. Uh, and I noticed we do have three daughters, so we might be able to get some alliances actually, which is going to be uh, very important. Let's go ahead and pin those. But before we do anything else, let us check. The overruling goal for this series. Where is it? Reviving House Rain. House Rain traces its lineage back to the first men in the Age of Heroes, building their seat of Castamere around a rich system of mines, thus securing themselves great power in the Westerlands. House Rain met its downfall when Lord Roger Rain refused to pay his debts and rebelled against House Lannister. A rebellion ended swiftly with the extinction of their dynasty. Perhaps it is time to bring back the once great dynasty with myself as it said now i do believe we are a bastard branch of house rain how do i check this um i clicked on the wrong thing there didn't i i think it's this one down here yeah we are house vickery uh so if we go to the dynasty tree there we go uh, how far back is it until we're related to house rain oh it goes quite far back doesn't it <laughs> do i think this is still uh house of vickery here okay it goes all the way back to lord reynard here there we go uh, when did he die? He died... First move, AC 21. Oh, dear. So we 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 go back. We do have rain blood in us. Although it might be a little bit watered down. But Tywin did not kill all of the rains. Uh, and if we manage to complete that... Let's see. Lord... So all my family members become House Rain. Uh, and for that, we need the title of Castamere. And of course, who holds Castamere? The evil man himself. Tywin Lannister. I will show him how to wipe out a dynasty. We will wipe out every single Lannister, mark my words. Okay, let's jump in. <laughs> we're gonna kill them all, lads. Right, we're going intrigue, of course. Uh, I think Skull agree for the extra intrigue, yes. We're gonna try and roleplay things a bit as well. You guys know me by now. Uh, I'm not the most meta or good player, but I do like to roleplay. Dark Insights, when we torture some... Ooh, we could capture some Lannisters and torture them. You do not lose piety or clergy opinion from torturing. Very nice. Uh, dread gain uh, and martial and intrigue per stress level plus four. Okay, 
Uh, and we probably will get a lot of stress. Right, we're going down Torturer first. I wanted to do Schema. However, we'll see. We'll, we'll go for this. We'll go for this um, to begin with. Uh, we do have a lot of decisions. Ah, yes, we need to sort out the council as well. We don't have a maester right now, do we? No, and when we have to send for one. So let's go ahead and send for a maester. We have 72 gold. This is probably going to eat up all of our gold. Renowned throughout the world. And an unworld is the center of Westeros learning. The citadel of Old Town provides every keep in Westeros with a trained man of learning. Perhaps I should send for one. Yes, let us send the raven to Old Town. We will need a maester for the journey ahead of us. We also need a patron aspect. Let's go ahead and pick one of those. Does one of these give us intrigue? Um, I don't see one. This one gives hostile schemes a success chance and dread. A stranger? A stranger, neither man nor woman, yet both at once outcast. Wanderer from far lands. Lesser more than human. Unknown and unknowable. His face is that of death. His hand that which leads souls to the other world. Oh, that sounds fitting. Okay, we're going to go with the stranger then. Uh, do we have anything else to do here? Uh, we can host a grand tournament. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, I don't think we can actually host a grand tournament. We're very poor. I can petition Liege and request a loan from the Iron Bank. Let's turn those off. We don't want to get ourselves in too much debt. Uh, petition Liege. Ah, ah, spit on Tywin's Lannister's feet. I would not petition my Liege. Although it could be, maybe we could pretend to be close to him. Let's see. What are our options here? Council appointment. Getting on his council could be very good. Especially as his spy master. Hmm, let us think about that. We'll finish on finish off setting up all of our games. I can create an accolade. Well, let's see. We can make two accolades. Valar. We'll wait for this as well because I, I can marry off the woman in my court. For some uh, better knights. Okay, we're hiring a maester. I can negotiate an alliance with you. No, I can't. He won't say yes. And children lack guardians. Okay, before we do that, let us marry off everyone in our court. Um, this is looking <laughs> fine. Apart from my master at arms. Okay, he's looking pretty bad. Uh, Damon has 14 martial votes. So let's go ahead and get him on the council. As for my admiral, I probably want someone with good stewardship. We don't have many good stewards. Okay, uh, in that case, let us find someone. Let's get rid of this. Uh, I'm married. Oh, I haven't got my filters set up. I haven't got my filters. I haven't played so long. Okay, so we want a child. No, no, no. We want an adult. Uh, is there gender? Yeah, gender. Female. Uh, and we want marital status. Where, where's marital status? Uh, religion, culture, hooks. Marital status. There we go. I'm married. Right, let's save this as a filter. And um, we'll go female. I'm married. There we go. We can save this one. It just makes it quicker in future. Uh, and then we, we only have three. Okay. Richella, you're 23. Let's try and find a good steward here with you only 11 oh okay we might be struggling to find council members hmm in fact he's by courtier anyway we, we we can't marry oh dear i may have to sacrifice one of my daughters that might be what we have to do here how old are my daughters ah but we need them for alliances alas the council would be poor to begin with it's fine. We'll have to deal with it. Well, let's put you on this. Uh, and then, I mean, we have this guy. He's my Castellan. He's got nine. I mean, we, we, we have to. Let's put him over there. We can't change our sept. Our spy master, I want as high as possible. Brian! You will share in my intrigue, my friend. Welcome. Welcome. And then as for a Castellan, probably someone else with intrigue. Armand, my knights. Oh, wait. Torton here. Um, He can actually already do intrigue. So let's do that. Max... Hostile scheme resistance plus five. Max hostile schemes plus one. This gives me plus two intrigue though and learning experience. Learning lifestyle experience. Uh, <coughs> lifestyle experience. Bloody hell. Right. Should we keep oversee realm? I think for now, yes. Let's get some more skills before we start doing the schemes uh, and swap him over. And then if we go to, to these lasses here, uh, I guess what we're going to do is just try and find some Bella Knights. <laughs> okay, these guys are already my knights, right? Um. Okay. I'll tell you what I'll do then, is let's do this. And at least our knights should then have some children, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, my castle and my knight, there we go. Um, and if we change this over to unmarried, we can find some partners for the rest of my knights. You have to bear with me in the first episode, guys. It's always a little bit slow to start things off, right? My admiral, let's find you a wife. 
We've got stewardship. <laughs> My daughter. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, yeah. We, we have no... We have no political reach. Okay. We're going to be struggling for a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, let's take a look at Vickery House. Do we have anything special? We have a small harbor. So we're getting a little bit of taxes here. Where's Castamere? It's somewhere over here. Yeah, Castamere is over here. So this is what we want to regain. Right now, Tywin holds the... Tywin holds my ancestor's home. This is the one we want back. With the flooded mines. Can we repair the flooded mines, I wonder? Maybe. That would be nice. Abandoned medium-sized ruins. Yeah, we got some abandoned stuff. That's the one we want back. But it's going to take a while because how strong is Tywin? 26,000. Guys, I have 600 levies. Don't worry. Don't worry. I I'm sure our bravery um, can overrule him. Right. So I think it's time we sell off. And petition Tywin. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But we need a seat on his council. So let us do this. Uh, we need a caravan master as well. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, I think the road is fairly safe. It's right next to us. We can't get any bonus XP here either without going too far out of the way. Lannisport. We have this one. Yeah. Okay, we'll just do this. Let us start traveling, my friends. We also need guardians. My daughter. Let's see, my daughter. Uh, you are... I could educate you. Let's educate you until my son comes of age and then he will need uh, an educator. He's three years old. Uh, in fact, daughter, um, my wife is going to uh, educate you. There we go. My son, though, let's go ahead and put him on intrigue. Oh, he's not very good at intrigue, though. But we will try. I will teach him the ways of the dagger. He will learn to hate Tywin, as I have. Um, oh, we don't have any good wet nurses. She has more intrigue, though, so we'll go with her. I don't know if it affects it. Uh, and we can create an accolade. Right now, we will create the accolade. And then set off for, for Ladder's port. Bloody hell. <laughs> right, Valar. What can you do, my friend? You are... Let's go ahead and do this. So you got Valiant. Army damage plus 30% is always nice. Disciplinarian. Levy. Maintenance minus 20% and reinforcement rate. Okay. Uh, and this one. Diplomacy. Yeah, we don't care about this. So let's replace this one with Valiant. And we're going to call him... Hmm, what do we call him? I want it rain-themed, but we cannot give it away to Tywin so quickly. We gotta be discreet. We gotta be discreet. Hmm. Something to do with dagger? Oh, I don't know. Right, let's create it first. Let's create it first. Most honored. The banners. We'll keep that. Guys, if you have any name suggestions for accolade, leave it in the comments and I'll take your suggestions. My creativity has fallen. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Archers is good. Archer. So Archer is going to go ahead and give us max size of Archer regiments plus eight. Wow. And minus 25% Archer maintenance and plus 60% Archer damage and toughness. Okay. That's huge. Scoundrel, martial plus stress level. Um, what does Fug give us? Dread and imprison chance. Okay. We're going to go with Fug and we're going to go with Archer. So I also need an accolade name for this one as well, guys. Um, accolades lack successes. Okay. Uh, out of both of these, I really like the archer one. So let's try and seek a successor. Never mind. We don't have enough diplomacy. <laughs> uh, prestige. <laughs> oh, crap. Let us begin. Marching south to Lannisport. All packed and proper. We have finally come to the point when we can start our journey from Boronlin to our next destination at Casterly Rock. As we depart from the holding and our mounts start treading new ground, I am certain we will return soon and in one piece. I cannot wait. And our journey has officially begun. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, we gain 100 stewardship lifestyle experience. Okay. The maester I sent for from the Citadel has arrived in Borolin, a salt Dornish by the name of Castos. Ah, yes. I forgot that I sent for him. 23 learning. I will recruit him. 20 gold. Okay, that's not so bad. That's much cheaper than I was expecting. <clears throat> I am escorted to Lord Tywin's throne room where he beckons for me to approach and address him. I alludicate the abilities proven and otherwise that makes me a suitable candidate to be the Lord's Chancellor, requesting the position as his advisor. <laughs> okay, uh, not well I want it, it's fine. I sadly can't do any worse than Lord Gareth of Fair Isle. Ah, look at that. 20 diplomacy. 
Uh, compared to my nine, I'm clearly the better man for the job, my lord. After listening to the speech, he sits in silence for several moments as he mows my petition over. Eventually, he addresses me. You make some good arguments. But if I am to agree to your request, I would need something in return. Surely you would see it would benefit both of us if we can come to an arrangement. Hmm. So I could give him 20 gold and I can be on the council for at least five years. Okay. Uh, he doesn't get a hook on me though. I think 20 gold is a fair offer. We really need to save and invest our gold in buildings, but 20 gold to be on uh, Tywin's council is a very good first step. To enact in our revenge. Greetings, my modest liege. I accept your marriage proposal. Your courtier moment. Okay, we got some marriage stuff. Okay, we should find some alliances for my daughters as well. Uh, let us do that once we arrive home. At long last, I am finally home. There was nothing better than arriving back in Borolin after a long journey. I look forward to resting for some time. But the call on the road beckons ever onward. My caravan master, Richella, reports that we have journeyed for 13 days. And traversed seven baronies. Thank the seven who are one. I can go inside once more. Right, let us pause. Regency has ended because we are back. Uh, I have dismissed my, my wife from this. A grand tournament, eh? Where are you, my friend? Oh, that might be... <laughs> uh, we, might, we, we, we might skip on that one just because of the distance. Right. Let's not get distracted. We need alliances, lads. What's the best alliance we can get? Lord Ormond of Yomwood. 8,000 men. Uh, quite far away, though. Hmm. These guys are Westermen. 4,000 men. Let's see. House Brax here. They are relatively close to us. So, at the very least, I don't know if they can help us against Tywin. I think Leed can't join, but the Vassals can, right? Yes. Yeah, it works that way around. But if that doesn't work, we can always use them to help us, like, take a land's point or something. Because we do need to expand and get stronger before we fight the Lannisters, of course. So I might actually go with this one. Plus, these guys are a little bit closer to my daughter's age. She's only eight. So let's go for the 17-year-old. Uh, he, he's <laughs> the height difference. Uh, let's send the proposal. Already, we're going to get some alliances. And then my daughter, Adela Vickery. By the way, guys, give me name suggestions for children as well. I will pick my favorite ones and rename the children. Uh, of course, priority to channel members. Right, let's see. Oh, you're my cousin. Uh, oh, that's a different one, so. But alliance power. Ah, you're eight years old. How strong are you guys? 3,000, nearly 4,000. Also in the Westerlands, right. Let us marry in the House Surrett. We will be strong allies. And then my daughter, one years old. Let us see, alliance power. Uh, the Arons! Not the main branch. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe. We could get John Aaron here into power. And then we would have a very, very strong ally. Let's do. Let's send the proposals. I think that's how we're going to go. Let me take a, a quick drink of water. There we go. I still have a bit of a cough. But luckily, um, it's toned down a bit. Right. So, I, I think we're all sorted now. Let, let's go ahead and unpause. We've got to decide what to build here, though. So, we got, we got small harbor. Uh, I think we're just going to have to go with gold buildings, aren't we? So apiaries are going to be very good, right? Let's get 150 gold in a bank. Uh, and then we can build some apiaries. Oh, I'm excited. To the modest Lyman, I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your daughter Beatrice will be betrothed to my son Flemont. Excellent stuff. And there we go. House Arryn has agreed to an alliance. As has House Serret. Already the alliances are growing. We have, let's see, uh, 10,000 combined strength. Hmm, we might need that. Also, ah, we don't have prestige to call them into war, though. It's very problematic at the same time. But we will work all of this stuff out. How strong are you guys? 1900. So we could win a war against them if we get a claim. Hmm. Oh, we have an Oh, he's now a ruler. 300 men. <laughs> okay, we can't call him into war yet. He's not strong enough. Nothing calms me quite as efficiently as a full glass of wine. After a hard day. After a good day. After any day, I have found solace in the bottom of the cup. I could become a drunk. I don't think that would be very good. I think I am stronger with this. I cannot lose my vision. I cannot lose my vision. Speaking of my vision, we don't have any hostile schemes going on right now. So why don't we? Why don't we do something here? 
Cersei. Can I... Good romance there. Mmm, we could murder Cersei. 26% chance. Do I want to do this? Or do I murder Tywin first? I could murder Tywin first. 95% chance. He drowned my father's... My father's children, my cousins, my aunts. We will get vengeance. Let us start the scheme. Also, I need to I need to go ahead and sort out the council. Uh, do you train the commanders? We're going to go on... Uh, we'll keep on foreign affairs because we don't have any vassals. You're on organized schemes, increased development. We'll go and collect taxes because I want to get cast me. Uh, you're on protect trade. You're going to be on find secrets. Ah, we don't have much gold though, do we? To, to blackmail people. So in case instead of that, I'm going to put you on support schemes. Yes, let us do this. Let us do this. We need to fabricate claims, but again, we don't have enough gold yet. We're going to have to build some buildings first. Oh, could you imagine we murder him first time? Oh, yes, please. And Lord Gareth of Fair Isle has joined the schemes with us. Excuse me. I had a little bit of a coughing thing there going. <laughs> oh, this cough. Uh, I've had it since like January the 3rd. And the doctor said it's going to take uh, three to eight weeks to go, so not fun. Right, agent removed. Oh, you died. So is it such a high chance because we have so many agents? Yes. Even Cersei is with us. Oh, Cersei. You don't know the extent of my plans yet, woman. My daughter Beatrice has been impressed with one of the household knights for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, she's been repeating the warrior's words to herself. Give others that you, and you will receive your own in time. I probably should do that. Mm, so as others grow around her, so will she. My daughter has become generous. Hopefully she still appreciates the way of the dagger though. My master at arms, Damon, has been showing off a promising new recruit. He may not be of a noble stock as you, my liege. Below my name, I swear that Gregor is someone you would want on your side. Gregor, you, uh, he doesn't have very good skills. He does have 12 martial though, and he is actually a skilled fighter. He could probably become a champion, one of my knights. Uh, very well, Gregor shall serve me. Yes, he has become one of my knights. There we go. Can I knight him even? I could offer knighthood, but he actually won't say yes. Also, we have 75 prestige now. So let's try and find a successor to uh, this accolade here. And now my prestige is all gone again. That's one thing in Game of Thrones. I, I quite like it. Although I know that some don't. But uh, resources can be quite hard to come by in the beginning. 1.7 gold. Very nice. How's the control here? Yeah, control is good, so we are earning the, the most we can. My agent, Cersei, approaches me with a bunch of parchment clutched in her hands. I found old architecture sketches of the Lord's Castle. They might be a bit outdated, but look here. Cersei has visited me in the night. Maybe I could be a romance here, you know? Maybe, maybe. Hmm. That looks like a tunnel we can use. Thank you, Cersei. I will remember this. Lord Joffrey is no longer an agent. Uh, he died. <laughs> okay. He wasn't murdered, though. I think he just died of old age. Oh, Cersei is with us, lads. Cersei is with us. Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Uh, three months left, and we'll see if we can kill Tywin already. That's it. Series over. Nah, we got to get Castamere back. The series will not end until all Lannisters are dead. And Castamere and Lannister bought his mind. Lord Joffrey's hunt. Shall we go on a hunt? Greetings, Lord Lyman of Burrenline. You are cordially invited to my hunt in the woodlands of Mutley Hills. Together, our hawks will make short work of their prey. What is this? Oh, it's fairly close. Sure, I think we should go on a hunt. Uh, we could gain prestige. We could lose stress. We might get the hunter trade. I think gaining prestige is the main one. We really need prestige now. It's a relatively safe journey. So we're not going to recruit anyone else. Let us make haste and join the hunt. My acquaintance, Lord Joffrey, is hosting a hunt in Motley Hills, and the time has come for us to depart. I should be able to proudly represent the House of Vickery. Hunting with birds is a most noble pursuit, one I am sure to excel at. I hope it goes well. Also, I think the mic is slowly raising, by the way, guys. <laughs> Every now and, now, uh, now and then, I hear the, the mic arm make a sound, uh, and I think it's slowly going up. I need to buy a weight for it, sorry. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, Lord Joffrey has started on the preparations. His gamekeepers check the woodlands each day for signs of quarry while building a camp closer to the hunting grounds. The birds grow restless waiting, knowing it will soon be unleashed. Let us check the guest list. There is no Tywin Lannister here. There is no Lannister. Okay. 
So we got no one to kill. No normal off branch Lannister either? No. So in fact then, um, okay, let, let, let's go ahead and take that. Uh, and I think we're going to go here. Let's go here for recreation. Although we could befriend. If we sort by power, I think it's just rank, right? 1,800 soldiers. Oh, it's not. I mean, Cray Cool. Those Cray Cool are quite strong. We could go for them. Lord Robert of Fang Hool. Fang Hill. House Clegane. Let us try to befriend the Clegane's. That could be very good because I think they're, uh, they're in bed with the Lannisters, aren't they? Not literally. Not literally. But let's go ahead and confirm this. We'll try and befriend the Clegane's on its little hunting adventure of ours. And the time has come. Let us close this. Get rid of the sounds. My agents have acquired a discreet powder which leaves no trace when dissolved in drink. The servants responsible for refilling and handling Lord Tywin's cup have been bribed and looked the other way. And all that remains is my approval to smuggle the poison into his next refreshing drink. A toast to Lord Tywin's health. Let us succeed, please. <laughs> we're going to have to do the hunt first, though. See, we're, we're not guilty. We're, we're hunting. How could we possibly kill Tywin when we're hunting? Uh, Master Everett assembles the parties and summarizes over the hunting grounds. Nestled in Motley's house's woodlands. With any luck, we'll find a raft of ducks. And the hawks will have great sport. The Peters teams are ready with the hounds. And the well-appointed spot has been selected. Let's get out there. Uh, the success chance has more than doubled. My friends of House Vickery. The first step in my master plan has succeeded. We are closer. To reviving House Rain and avenging our fathers. Cersei is now got equal power, something is said. Let's pin Cersei. Cersei helped us. We might be able to use her. And she hates her brother. We could now kill. Lord Tywin is dead, killed by a deep drought of wine. My agent slipped the poison into his goblet and watched it dissolve without a trace. Only when his throat swelled shut did he realize something was wrong. But by then it was far too late. Fortunately, my agent slipped out well before the effect of the poison revealed that something was afoot. <laughs> Cheers, Lord Tywin! <laughs> May you rest in peace. May you rest. All right, we got a successor for this one. Let's Gregor. Let's go ahead and get you. Not Gregor Cuclean, though. That would be kind of uh, kind of powerful. Um, so now, I think uh, Tyrion is now Lord of the Westerlands. Look at this. Cersei is his regent. I don't think they have a good relationship. So if we were to murder Tyrion. I am sure Cersei would join me. And there we go. Look at that. And Cersei is the primary heir. Now knowing Cersei. She's probably cunning enough to not trust me. But maybe. Just maybe. I mean she hates me actually. Maybe she would make me her spy master. Hmm. Cersei. At the seat of the Westerlands. That's kind of a scary thought. But we must do it. We will kill them all eventually. Waiting for word from the scent hounds. The party rests in the shaded cot. Robert stands not far off. This is my chance to impress him. Lord Robert, how are you? It's not often we get a chance to talk. Seems surprised, but not hostile to my conversation. What kind of man is Robert? Uh, very tall. Uh, let's see. He's very good at martial. So we probably want to speak about martial related things. Uh, there is nothing better than a good hunt, I say, Robert. What about you? Surely he appreciates a good hunt. Lord Robert seems to have much in common with me, relaxing his demeanor in my company. When we move on, we can hardly be separated. I knew I would find the right words to win him over. Ah, oh, we are closer to forming a friendship. Uh, and he has increased his relations by plus 15, his opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and pin Robert as well. <laughs> the pin list is already getting huge. My uncle in Lord Damon is crouched. Down on the ground, humming cheerfully, picking orchards. He appears to have lost all interest in the hunt. Lord, what a bounty of nature. Look at these plants. Truly, the wealth of the earth knows no bounds. We do not appreciate these simple treasures enough. Get back on your horse. We are here to hunt, not pick flowers, my uncle. I want to hunt and make friends. That is my goal for this. Right, let's unpause. Accolade successor has been found. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Let's check that a second. Wait, wasn't I looking for a successor for someone else, though? Yeah. Ah. Oh, so... Uh, 
Uh, Gregor was already... Okay, right. We're going to have to wait anyway we, because we can't do this. Um, we'll go back to the hunt, though. Lord Joffrey's Game Master signaled the party to hush. We have arrived at the release spot. There is a clear sight line to a raft of brown ducks wafty, watering themselves in the pond up ahead. The beaters will soon be in position, ready to spook the game to flight. The party holds as we prepare to remove our birds' hoods and set them one by one to Vestport. It is time! Good luck, my hawk! May you bring me victory in this glorious hunt and bring me much prestige. Hopefully, we can become friends with the Cleganes as well. I don't think we're going to do it. Agent has been removed from Scheme. Um, okay, interesting. Do we still have good success chance? Yeah, 95%. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, no one likes Tyrion. <laughs> He's screwed. He's so screwed. Lord Joffrey watches excitedly. <coughs> As his hawk identifies a target, it takes wind from its watch. Soaring high into the air. The beaters have scattered the quacking brown ducks. Who now fill the air with their flapping clamour. It swoops like a bolt of lightning. The audible thunder of the impact reaching us moments later. As the quarry falls from the sky. Nicely done. So have we finished the hunt? Not yet. Yeah, it succeeded. Look at that. I've gained a trait hunter. So what do I get? Uh, oh, my... Are those my accolades? No, they're not my accolades. I gained 375 prestige. Oh, that's nice. Let us finish the hunt. And head back home. I would say that is successful. Truly, a stroll through Hairforth is a gift from the seven who are one. The tranquility of this place is suddenly and abruptly broken by the furious grunts and clattering of armor. Hark! Get me out of this metal prison. My squire took offense at my manner, even going so far as to call me heartless and has abandoned me. Whatever this strange man did could not have been enough to justify being stuck forever in his armor. I would, of course, have someone to help him, but is it truly worth it? I think... If he gives me a little bit of gold, I will help him out. We need the gold. Desperately need the gold. We only have 54 gold. Holy crap. Uh, we need 150. Wow. I've noticed that Derek avoids me more than usual. Derek is one of my acclaimed knights. Okay. He always sits at the opposite end of the table whenever we're invited to a feast. He consistently refuses my company while camping. We may not have the best of relationships, but that attitude is starting to tie me, especially when I hit over him defaming me. Lyman is a hysterical sport of hell. I'd be a way better lord than him. Oh, you want to know how it is? I could duel him. I could duel him. Ooh. I am vengeful, though. I can't pick these, look. I am vengeful. We must play with the traits. You want to know how it is, Derek? I will show you. I have won the fight. And I have wounded Derek. I have made him leave, though. <laughs> Oh, for bloody hell. Um, has that already ruined one of our accolades? Uh, I could create an accolade. I can restore an accolade. Okay, let's do that when we get back home. <laughs> bloody hell. Journeying through Crubs Brook, I passed by a peculiar looking tent split open with the Uh More peculiar looking occupant inside. Come in, almighty lord. I can tell you how many miles to go. And I can offer you a reading for your future travels for a modest price. A strange man has piqued the interest of my entourage. But am I willing to pay for a reading? I lose a little bit of stress. But I am not interested. I must invest the gold. In infrastructure. Not in putty readings from peasants in the countryside. And at long last, we are finally home. We were gone for 72 days. And in that time, we killed Tywin Lannister. The regency has ended. We are back home. And just like that, I think that's a good place to leave the first episode. Already a lot has happened. Uh, please bear with me as I get back into commentary because it's been a couple months since I last recorded. <laughs> but I'm having fun. Uh, we killed Tywin. Next up on the list is Tyrion. He has a lot of haters. He has a lot of haters. Look at this. 18 agents, including Cersei. Uh, when Cersei becomes Lord... I mean, she only has 16 entries. So it's not that bad, actually. Uh, she's only 17, so she hasn't had chance to improve too much. But once Cersei is Lord, we would kill her too. Uh, if we look at the succession here then it would be lord kevin and then a bunch of children okay but that will be in the next episode remember guys leave name suggestions in the comments for our accolades and children but that's it for me today i will see you next time <laughs>